comic flipping has an appeal, excitement and reward, but consider keeping your comics. Comic flipping has an appeal, excitement and reward, but consider keeping your comics. Now, it's uh, it's like, you know, that CGC comic, you know, it's like, well, you know, at the extreme, I suppose, it's like taking a brand new model Porsche and putting a big plastic box around it and putting it on display. I mean, it's lovely, it's a collectible, it's on display, but you can't really drive the thing, can you? And it's sort of lost its point a little bit, hasn't it? Comics are to be read. Comics are to be looked at and enjoyed. and It's something which a panopictographist, a comic collector, buys and keeps, usually, to enjoy owning that comic. That's the, the normal point of a comic, is to buy it, read it, and enjoy it, and having a collection for refer referring back to as years pass by. Sure, they increase in value, but I don't think the initial idea with DC Comics, which mostly started American comics, was to sort of, this is a hot flip once it hits that 124% fair market value increase, you know. <laughs> now flip it, you'll make a buck. Money making, callous money making, might be a bit severe, but you know, you know, CG seeing all this stuff, wonderful. I can't read it anymore, can you? Now, it in some ways though, it, it it can be a bit reasonable because it's the official item and item, and you can use it as a display because you can indeed always read the issues as trade paperbacks or as digital downloads with the available systems. So the, the official collectible can be a display item somewhat and flip somewhat. It's not really the end of the world because you can read it in other formats which aren't so crucial to collectible status and the flip. So I acknowledge that and that's an acknowledged part of the hobby and industry. It's certainly exciting and rewarding getting into comic flipping, um, you know, following following hot 10 videos and comic price guides and things and seeing how valuable your collection is they've even got websites where you record all your comics and their grades and you know from day to day how valuable your collection is and that can very that can be a very appealing thing and it's 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 almost even like the, the stock market in some ways and having shares ha knowing how valuable your estate is and your comic wealth estate is it can be a very appealing thing and that's understood but consider keeping it keeping it for the sake that you've got the comic the, the whole point of a first issue is that you get to find out how that hero began it's not necessarily the point that it's going to be valuable the reason why it, why it was valuable is because you got to see the origin of the hero at his or her debut or the origin of a superhero team at his or her debut, you got to read the first story, the virgin experience of the hero, the first story of it, the innocence and youth of the hero. The point was that you got to look at the comic, read it and enjoy it and understand how it all began. That's the comic's significance of the first issue. But these days, the significance of the first appearance is that it's valuable and it's good for flipping, isn't it? Keep the things.